Hey guys, I'm Marita and this is Maria. Welcome back to the Health Revolution 12 week program. We are back in the kitchen, not in the gym, thank goodness. And today we're gonna to be talking a little bit about how Maria and I prepare and think about meals such as lunch and dinner. So Maria, why don't you start by telling me what are the main things you think about or what excites you about lunch and dinner? How do you think about what you're gonna prepare for you and your family? I'm a foodie like most people, so I love food and I love thinking about food and I love planning for food. So I will think in a way that it gives me health, it gives me joy, and also I wanna dope my gut microbiota. I want to help the good guys in the guts and I want to uh, actually impede the bad guys from doing their job. And the best way to do that is ta-da! Mm, looks so the good. Rainbow. It's a rainbow. It's a rainbow. Mm. So everything going from the blues and purples into the reds, oranges, yellows and then to the greens. All of these different colors are a different uh, are different principles of polyphenols and fibers and they are the best food ever for your beneficial gut microbiota and why is that so important because they give you health mm -hmm. all sorts of health and they kind of lower the risk of disease mm -hmm. so i will begin by actually thinking about what vegetable am i going to have today what do you think about I love that and I actually think first protein so I start kind of yeah. on the opposite end of the spectrum and then add in my veggies but I mean we have so many beautiful types of protein here I'm gonna just share a few with everyone um, this is probably one of my favorites I'm Canadian we have great Canadian salmon you're Nordic you guys have great salmon too but salmon is such a beautiful protein because of all the omega so it has naturally occurring fats um, I remember somebody once told me when you eat salmon the next day your skin glows mm. and I truly feel that you know it, it gives back the fat in your skin and that suppleness and the taste is amazing and you can do this with dill you can do it on the grill you can poach it you can do it in a you can sear it it's such a versatile fish yeah right so this is one of my favorite types of protein um, how much protein should you have yeah great question uh, I like to pack my protein on my plate first and I like to take a palm so instead of saying how many grams I like to look at the palm of my hand so that should be about the serving size the serving size of your protein should be about the palm of your hand from your wrist to the tip of your finger it's a really great visual reminder as how you should eat your protein so we have some halloumi here some goat feta these are both really great vegetarian options mm. of getting that protein in of course tempeh tofu if you are vegan are other great options if you're um, stuck on time there's many days it's like Thursday I haven't gone groceries I don't have fresh chicken or fresh turkey or anything like that it's great to keep things in the pantry so that you're not grabbing the pizza and the takeout so it's really great to have something like canned tuna canned sardines canned herring like we have here which is so typical here in Sweden in Canada we use canned mussels and canned tuna very often and you can use this with a beautiful um, avocado on the side to add some fat you can add some colorful vegetables some sprouts I mean protein is so important number one it's the macronutrient that's going to keep you satiated aka fuller longer so instead of thinking about oh we're gonna have pasta for dinner why not we're going to have chicken we're gonna have fish and then on the side we'll have maybe a little bit of that pasta instead of the typical way people think is the other way around yeah, the big what do you think of pasta. yeah yeah and i think that's so important because the protein also lowers the glycemic index of anything you eat with it mm -hmm. so not having protein with your pasta will make the glycemic index go sky high higher blood sugar higher insulin higher inflammation higher risk of disease and before that you're just gonna be tired puffy and inflamed yeah and not feel great not so, good <laughs> yeah so what do you have what kind of carbs yeah do we have so here? i'm gonna give these to you mm -hmm. um so when you think of your plate you think protein you think veggies and the last thing you should be thinking about are carbs yeah i think a lot of people think oh no we can't have carbs carbs are bad carbs are great it's a source of energy as long as you time them right and use the great right kind so this is a beautiful um, black rice a wild rice rice is a beautiful option um it's not man-made there's no gluten it's just 
from the earth. And then Maria, what do you have here? I've got a gluten mix and this also has amaranth and they are all the non-gluten uh, carbohydrates. And carbohydrates right like this are perfect because they're high in protein, they are high in fiber, mm. and protein and fiber means lower glycemic index. And one of the most important anti-inflammatory principles, keep the blood sugar low, keep it steady. Mm -hmm. One of my other favorite ones, and we use these oh, a lot, sweet it. potatoes. Yeah. What do you call them here? Swedes? Mm -hmm. No. Sweet so, potatoes. Oh, yeah. that's what the they Italian call them. Sweet so, Okay. So, In Spanish. Uh, patata dulce or batata. Con, batata. With a B. With a B. Um, and these are great to roast, to boil. We do like a like a French fry in the oven. The kids love these. So these are really great. Um, and there's nothing wrong with a potato. Potatoes are great too. This has a little bit more uh, nutrients. So they're a little bit more nutrient dense. Um, I love sweet potatoes. Yeah. Really great way to get in your carbohydrates into your meal. Yeah. Right? And so they are actually anti-inflammatory. The, 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 the orange color is the same family that brings kind of the orange color here to the carrots. So good for your skin. Yes. Good for your skin and anti-inflammatory. Mm. Which so is great. what we're all about. So if you were to look at a typical lunch, you could throw a bunch of these veggies together, make a beautiful salad, throw some of that heron on top, and then sprinkle some seeds mm. and put some beautiful extra virgin olive oil and Maria's other little trick, vinegar, yeah. right? So, Talk to us yeah. about vinegar. Yeah, so it's very interesting with vinegar because we've talked about how keeping your blood sugar levels low are so important. If you add vinegar to any meal, means the blood sugar levels do not spike as much. It's called the French trick. Mm. You know how French people will They're have very little, smart. Yeah, very have, have a little a vinaigrette salad before they eat. French people eat a lot, but do not have uh, as high incidences of obesity, of heart disease, etc. This little bugger does the trick. I thought it was the champagne. I thought it was the champagne. <laughs> I also have another little friend. My happy paradise. It's the spice paradise. Mm. And if we ever get the chance to travel again after COVID or just go to another city, have a look in the ethnic shops at mm. interesting spices. This, what's this? This smells great. This is, I actually have bought it in Africa and mm. I have a store of this. Mm. So this is like a tandoori, mm. which has turmeric in it. Love. This is interesting. It actually has bark in it. Mm. And that has That's interesting. Too. This is thyme, which mm. is fantastic, has been known since um, ancient times to be a medicinal herb. And this is rose pepper. So. It's interesting because a lot of people think about spices as something that is just an add-on, mm. but this is your pharmacy. Mm. Add many spices and many different spices in a meal and find ways of combining them. So thyme here is a very happy little friend to tomatoes and to garlic. That's like a little family. And um, you know, the turmeric will go very well with coriander and with cumin, etc. Mm -hmm. So finding a way and exploring cookbooks and using these because these are anti-inflammatory polyphenols. This is your apothecary. This is your pharmacy, natural pharmacy. And then they pharmacy. make everything taste good. Yeah, exactly. So you're having fun too when you cook. Yeah. I mean, our whole goal today is to show you that eating healthy doesn't have to be boring. I think people think they have to eat like chicken and asparagus and cottage cheese and that's it. Yeah. Really, what we're trying to show you is be creative in your kitchen, get excited about cooking again, get out with your family to the markets, the farmer's markets, and be ex take experiments, mm. take risks in the yeah, kitchen because yeah, you're gonna really yeah. have fun, right? Yeah, and cook stuff like, look for recipes that are original from cultures that are great. Like if you look for the Middle Eastern uh, recipes, a lot of them are around vegetables mm -hmm. and you're very attached to the both Italian and Spanish cultures. I am. Great. Uh, you made a paella for us yesterday. I made a beautiful paella, which yeah. is such, uh, you know, all of the flavors and then you have the protein and the meats and then you have the vegetables all in there and then you add your carbohydrate, which is the rice. It's a perfectly balanced mm -hmm. meal that is so very healthy. So don't be afraid to ex experiment in the kitchen, have fun, have your vegetables yeah. and, uh, and cheers. 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 See you next time. <laughs>